What's good, people? It's your boy, Icarus Gray. And this is Gray Area Anime. And we are back with another one. Back with another one. Of what? I figured I'd try a little something different today. Um, So today, what we're going to kind of do is talk about our real life experience in in anime kind of thing. So that's like, do we collect any photos or do we go to anime themed places? Do we cosplay? Blah, blah, blah. All of these other little ditties like if we went over to japan what would we have to see first that kind of stuff um just because you know i like the anime stuff and it's not just the watching and the reading of the manga i do kind of like um a lot of the different cultural things for mostly just the beauty of certain things (laughs) um doesn't go too much deeper than that But I wanted to talk about all that stuff, um, and we're going to start with a story that inspired me to make this conversation. Uh, My Oh, also on Maker is Gray, Uh, for those of you who don't know. Welcome. um, I do believe I already said that, but. I was welcoming them again. I don't know that. Yeah, you definitely did. You do it in the intro every time. uh Yeah, every time. That voice you hear stepping over me as the executive producer doing her usual job. And stepping over is what I do best. Ka-ching! It is much my very, very Iverson. (laughs) Anyway. So, yeah. So, me and the executive producer there were down in Savannah, Georgia. I won't say the name of the place, but... uh, (laughs) That's going to be... I'm just going to tell y'all where we were. That's totally going to keep the anonymity up. Watch out. (laughs) (laughs) So, we went... We... Hmm. There's there's not a lot of cultural diversity here. I mean, there's some here in the little town that we live in, but uh, it's not like a huge explosion. Like we have our little comic cons and things of that nature, but you got to find the, like uh, after the that actual cultural <laughs> like diversity here. Yeah, like there's no hot pot places by us and hot pot is I don't think there's any hot pot places at all in Arkansas I could be wrong they're probably in northwest Arkansas (laughs) Uh, okay (laughs) whatever you're doing there stop it I'm just saying that's probably where they are whatever you're that's probably where they are I'm just saying (laughs) so I guess I have to repeat myself and then you just ignore me as you always do Um, it's out there now but anyway so we can't get a lot of the things that um we think are pretty cool uh i mean everybody has sushi places but when you're not by the water i mean it's good but like it's a completely different it's experience sketchy. um it's like meeting a man we have an amazing pho place but that's a completely different uh asian thing i don't know what i was going to say Vietnamese? there but it's a, well, Asian I mean, thing? But <laughs> just well, different. It's not. Right? It's not Japanese. Is what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> so long story short, there's not a whole lot of stuff that we can do that, or I can do that, kind of fills my um, desires for the different anime lifestyle. So we get down to Savannah, and uh, we come across this ramen place. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something about me. Um, I don't discriminate. I ain't got no problem with nobody. I don't. I <laughs> promise you I don't. This is already uh, shaping up to be very, very questionable. But hey, listen. if you walk into an establishment of mm-hmm. any culture and the people make it, make of it said culture are not there. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah. this because I feel led to say it. The only other culture that I trust to cook soul food is the Vietnamese and or Chinese people in New Orleans. Chinese and Vietnamese people, period. I trust them to do it. If I don't see them or a black person, I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> to be just honest. Say that, not to say <laughs> that your cuisine um person that may be listening that you're cooking isn't 
serviceable. <clears throat> but it lacks a certain je ne sais quoi. And a uh, a a true to lifeness <laughs> or authenticity. Know. A um uh, uh a taste know, it's a, even. It's a, uh, we're just gonna cut through the chase. It's a little hipsterish, and uh, you know, just because you woke up mm. with the idea that you wanted to start something, Brennan, uh, <laughs> doesn't mean <laughs> that you should. Is uh, Brennan like the male version of Karen? No, no, no. That's a Chad. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't mean that you should do it. Brennan is the guy that Sorry. you know is a barista for like five years. He. Went on a life journey. Oh yeah, and studied in Europe and, uh, about more coffee. Came back, and he knows after watching the injustice of I've someone that he, like that couldn't get on a plane or something, and he was like, "I'm going to take up my mantle and bring yeah. their struggle here or whatever." I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, way to go. Babe. So we're going to this place, and obviously there was a lack of uh, melanin cultural. Uh huh things that would say that this ramen place should be good but everything else about the it was atmosphere so great. was amazing it was so uh, great. there was anime playing on the tvs mm-hmm. funny enough it was two of our favorite animes it's it's almost like a walking like being an insect and flying past a venus flytrap because you smell that goodness you know uh, as, uh, as I mean, really, okay. <laughs> just saying, uh, you think, oh, whoa, whoa. All right. and you sure, think sure, 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 that uh, you're, right, no, you're no, no, headed no, no. into a good direction. That. I'm going to save you from this example and just move on. Why? Because uh, it's terrible. But anyway, it's, not. it's, it's accurate. It's very, very it's terrible. It's accurate because so that, those we go anime. into the ah, no, no, no. move along. Uh, we go into this place, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's kind of. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to give it a chance because. There's n- there's one place here that I love. IG Ramen, shout out to them. They're amazing. I, I love them. They're mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Very but that's good. it. And that's been in the last th- two, two, three years, maybe. maybe really? Maybe I, 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 I was going to say, I don't even know if they've been open that. I don't know if we've known about them that long. I feel like we knew about no, them as soon about, as they opened up. But uh, Yeah, because I have. Cause just because yeah. I was told about them in... Uh, so I have opening. not been privy to them for the last two years, um, maybe a year. So me. we didn't have a dedicated place. Um, and like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of cultural differences and stuff here. So anyway, so we go into the place, we order uh, an appetizer and uh, two bowls of the ramen. <laughs> and I uh, don't know why I talk like a I was wondering where that was in prison, from. but it, whatever. <laughs> Um, it's fine. I, it's the generation I grew up in, I guess. Um, so food comes out. Uh, well, the appetizer comes out, which Prima Diva immediately thinks is just chicken feet. It looked like chicken feet. It did. So, I was concerned because I I made a commitment to myself to never eat pig, chi- uh, chicken feet, pig feet, pig lips, or anything of the, that nature. I don't want nothing to do with the weird parts of the, of the animal. Like, that's how I feel. (laughs) Anyway, moving on. So (laughs) we get our karage. That's what it was. Karage. Oh, but it was Uh, was Because I have to have karage in most places that I go uh, because it's delicious. It is. Please don't tell me, guys, that it's chicken feet. Okay? Don't do that to me. Thank you. Please just do. Like, I mean, like, (laughs) I don't. Like, you're the like. (laughs) The the law of attraction is tell the internet (laughs) what you don't want. (laughs) And watch the internet give it to you. Yeah, you, you I guess are you're right. as smart as you are. I don't understand. I thought the listeners listen, would be kinder listen, to me. Listen, guys. <laughs> but they don't listen, even know. Listen, guys. <laughs> don't tell me about the thing that I don't 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 ruin it for me. Don't spoil it, internet. And spam the inbox with all the spoilers. <laughs> like that's I just, what uh, yeah. Happens. All right. Welcome to that invitation. Uh, thanks. But anyway, no, thank you. <laughs> you would thank yourself. <laughs> clap for yourself, please. Please clap for yourself. Give yourself applause for what you invited to you. Um, so anyway, so before we, we eat those, um, which is always amazing with a little bit of soy sauce. Come um, back. I don't need any sauces, just the soy of the sauce. Come back. You it's were crying. you were gone for a moment there. Um, 
And so before they bring the ramen out, they come out. They're like, hey, do you need any uh, oils? And we're like, oh, yeah, bring it on. Oh, yes. Now, here's sign number two that this is probably not going to be that good. Uh, When you have a lot of sauces with the ramen, that ain't just like soy sauce, chili paste, and the toppings that you can have on it or, or whatever. Which we didn't even get any. Um. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, there was so there was a garlic uh chili sauce there was a spicy garlic there was chili a spicy sauce. garlic there, there was, was i think a, there was a regular garlic too a, and then some other stuff anyway so ramen gets there and we chose to get chicken on it because it said marinated chicken <laughs> um in air now i'm sorry i couldn't resist Sometimes I like to tell jokes on this podcast, and I'm ready for yours. Let's hear what you're going to say. Oh no, most days like uh, playing baseball, (laughs) they're stolen from me. No. Yes, (laughs) because you can't control yourself. Go for it. No, I'm interested. It was literally there. It was. I was. I was gonna go with that. It's still there. I was gonna go. It was marinated in the void. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) You know. We're so insane. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, we're not. If we were, my joke would have been heard uh, first. I'm sorry, on guys. The I, depri- I totally deprived you. I apologize, guys. I could be the host of. I don't know where she is. <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, you, the chicken was marinated in the land of no seasonings. Mm. Um, Mm-mm. in the Mario world of the dry, dry desert. (laughs) Uh, There were pokies coming out of it. Um, Listen, there were sand lizards. Mm, Indeed. The movie Dune was filmed (laughs) on the surface of that chicken. (laughs) Um, It had no life. And (sighs) the noodles were kind of just, they didn't have the springy chew that you want Mm -hmm. they weren't really absorbent to the broth the broth was okay no the broth was can i say something about that broth sure it was horrible (laughs) oh we also got two different broths i didn't think about it because i got tongue katsu i think yeah and i I don't eat pork so so, um no i gotta gotta show you yeah i think i gotta show you so the broth was terrible because it was it also too missed the seasonings and that was the biggest issue was like, and that was something you said too. If you got to add garlic chili sauce to the, (laughs) to the broth, hoping that it's going to actually add flavor to it and not enhance whatever is already there, then you know, it's a problem. That was a problem. problem. Long story short, the atmosphere was there. It was perfect. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Naruto was looking at me. He was looking right at me. Very disappointed, but it was disappointing. It was not what we wanted at all. And to top it all off, there were no chopsticks. There were none cho- no chopstick <laughs> options, actually. Now. When we went to go get hot pot, there weren't either. But. I don't know that if that's was a COVID thing delicious. or whatever. But, <laughs> that was we were amazing. Gonna get the hot pot, but. You are rushing. No, no, no. We can still talk about that. I was just no, saying no, no, the we're difference. No, no, no. We're going to. We're going to. It's not a we can still. It's a you're rushing. I wasn't like, rushing. I'm making the comparison. Ma'am, that what I'm saying to you. Both of those places that, had forks. Ma'am. I thought it was interesting. Ma'am. Okay, fine. Back what you think way. is interesting is a stepping on my building up. The, the building to things that I be build. trying to do continue for people. Continue to build, darling. You can't. You keep knocking it down. I'm not. You're a destroyer We're of things. all on the same ride, guy. We're no, all here. you're like in the carpool lane driving slower. Like you, you could literally drive on and not stop traffic, <laughs> but you like choose to get back, stop traffic, <laughs> and then be like, no, 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 please. You, you, no, matter of fact, that's what you are. You're the person who I need to get over. And it's like you try for like a second and then you drive like fast and then you're like, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to crash into you. Oh, my gosh. And then and then when you crash into you, you're like, no, 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 honey. I know there's a little damage on the car, but you go on. Wow. You go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. Back to you, Bob. (sighs) But the way this conversation has gone is how the food tasted. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> wow, for real. That <laughs> wow, 
<laughs> was how it was. Like we literally added so much soy sauce. I know I did, and it was still like you can taste soy sauce. Why could we not taste the soy sauce? <laughs> soy sauce, where did you go? Where art thou, soy sauce? Are you? Do should I snap or something? It sounds like you just ended a poem or something. Like, are I you think back? So. I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know where I went. I think I went into the void of go. no seasonings again or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's how bad it was. But what's actually good though is electricdivastudios.com. <laughs> it's an amazing place where you, the listener, can get a videographer that is <laughs> a master in her technique. Oh wow. See what the you did there. The executive producer of this said podcast. Brings you incredible content daily, incredible faith-based content um, that is amazing for the world. Now, granted, this technically isn't well a faith-based podcast, but I guarantee you that if you go there, if you're looking for somebody to do a wedding, if you're looking for somebody to do commercials, uh, if you're looking for a director for your next film, Electric Diva Studios is there to provide. ElectricDivaStudios.com, where you are going to be enlightened by what you find. So go there today, and I guarantee you won't regret it. But anyway, so, yeah. that That's why I wanted to have this conversation about all the stuff that we want to do. Let's talk about uh, what we would do. Um, first step down in Japan where we wouldn't actually have to worry about whether or not the food is going to be terrible. Thank the Lord. You can go mm-hmm. first. What was, what would be the first thing you would want to do? Find one of those like mountain hot spring places. Yes. I want to go. That's I want to be first thing that that's you want the fir- to do. I'm not, I mean, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Yes. I want to go. No, 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 Stop, 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 okay. stop, stop. That's what I want to do. I want to okay. go find a hot spring and experience what that's like. Like, honestly. don't go, don't, you were about to like ramble off three or four different things. I'm saying, yes, there are other things. Why? Why? Because like, that's I started what, you up. Because like, I, didn't I mean, love. I, that, 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 I get what you're saying. <sighs> I'm trying to make sure you don't go off into a tangent about something that is irrelevant. No, I wasn't. I thought you were asking me why I wanted to go to a hot spring. Okay, yes. Because I love baths. They're awesome. They're the best part of any day. If you can get one, a really nice hot one, it's it's life changing when it's good. You know, know what I mean? Yeah. So if I can get that action, oh, I'm here for it. Okay. So first thing I would want to do, uh, go somewhere where the cherry blossoms are. Me personally, if we're gonna go, pretty. if we're gonna go sight seeing stuff first. Uh, I can I can go with that. Like that would be the first thing that I want to do, especially because you only get it for like a week, mm. so you have a small window of time where the cherry blossom festivals or the sakura festivals, yeah, uh, are there, and that would be amazing because I am a huge uh, fall guy. Uh, not to be confused with the game Fall Guys, which is an amazing fun game that I have not yet played because uh, I ain't got no time, but yeah. I will have time. And I will be playing and beating you all someday. Consider that a challenge um, issue, guys. Make sure you show up and accept it. But cherry blossoms uh, are amazing to me. And I think that would be something that I would like to go see, whether it's um, on the countryside or, you know, at a festival or, or something like that. Uh, what would be the next thing that you want to do? Um, Probably go see what, I mean, I'd probably look for video games of some sort, like stuff that I either couldn't get here or wasn't like just stuff that is either only there or I could only experience like on that side. I'd go check out. I would definitely find a manga place and see if they have some stuff I want to read that I don't have access to here and pray that there's like a translation or that I can learn, like become fluent in Japanese real fast. That's, <laughs> that's what I would want to do. Duolingo is working wow. on me, man. <laughs> That's what I'd want. That's funny. Uh, Yeah, that would also be my number two is get to the gaming things that I can't get Mm. here. Now, I know I can switch the region on my um, on my switch, make like a different account and 
log that to like Japan to be able to get stuff a couple of days early or whatever. Um, but there's that's something not, about that's not cheating. No, oh, they cool. literally allow you to do it. Wow. Uh, but um, what I would enjoy about that the most is like the special edition covers that you mm-hmm. can kind of get um, the dolls and stuff like I have a Kirby collection um, that I hope continues to grow. Uh, if we ever get to the point to where we're doing like fan mail and stuff, if you guys want to send me Kirby stuff, send me Kirby stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, because that's my favorite guy there. That is my favorite Nintendo character of all time. Mario doesn't even come close. Um, and yeah, that would just be an exciting experience to even be able to find like a special edition switch or a special edition, um, RPG that I can only find there that has English translations or doesn't, or I just know how to play it Um, to find an arcade. Mm. We don't have those really. Yeah, no, our arcade Um, life is kind of dead. It's it's dead here. We used to have one when I was younger in the mall, but they like took it away years ago. And then they like changed it to an incense shop (laughs) for a while. Yeah. Um, And now it's like Chick-fil-A or something like that. Really? That's where that used to be? Wow. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Well, all that little that little yeah. area there where like the GNC and everything is that the arcade used to be right down there. Um, useless. So useless. that would be an amazing thing for me. Third thing for you. Um, Food. Yeah, that's probably that. I mean, I want to go sightseeing on the way to get the food. <laughs> that's how I feel. Looking at stuff on the way to food. Okay, so I do in the have food category, what would be the food thing that the first food thing you have to eat and or try is? Kobe beef. Are you talking about Wagyu beef? Yeah. Or, okay. Like I'm making, because you can have Kobe yep. beef. Well, technically, no, we can't really have no, Kobe here. It's just they normally say it's Kobe, but it's not. But I'm pretty certain it's not. But that, that right there. Uh, yeah. That in anything, I will eat. <laughs> food for me, too. Um, but for me, um, it would specifically be a themed restaurant. So whether it's the Pokemon restaurant, but it would really be Kirby Cafe. I'm just not even going to lie to you. Uh, that would be where I would want to go first. Um, and then after that, my friends, because I watch a lot of Strictly Dumping, Mr. Mikey Chin, um, shout out to him. He's awesome. I would have to go to a 7-Eleven. Yes, because I definitely want to see <laughs> what that's hidden for, for I sure. I would have to just go in yes. and grab all of these things. If I like mayo, I'd actually get one of their little flavored mayo I might things. try I'm not really crazy about mayo. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you try, just don't kiss me. I after. won't kiss you. Uh, <laughs> but that would be an amazing thing to do after, just because <laughs> the thing that I like about everywhere else in the world <laughs> um, anywhere but uh, here most places is what we see on the sticker is what we pay i love that actually and no tipping because they get paid a wage that they can live on you know honestly the first time i saw that um like a sticker that actually had the price i was worried <laughs> because i was in <clears throat> excuse me i was in germany at the time we went to the shopping district to shop uh, to look at like some of the stuff they had mm. and the clothes. I was like, Oh, these clothes are cute. I would love to get some. And I'm looking at the price like, Oh no, what's this going to be with tax? And they were like, what? Like that's the price. I say, what? I was really nervous for a minute, but that was actually a really interesting experience. I, I was blown away. Mm. But um, yeah, that that's what I want to do is go to one of those themed restaurants yeah. Enjoy myself. Go over to like the gift shops that are attached. Get some probably overpriced merch or something like <laughs> that. Just because, yeah. you know, you can only get those things over there. It's 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 an amazing thing for an, an animaniac. Ha ha ha. Yes. That's what I did there. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> such as myself. Um, and that would bring me the most joy outside of like finding like a certain special edition of a game that I was really um, into or whatever the case may be. Um, I do think that it would be like next level um, cathartic 
in that way. Just this piece of like growing up as a big kid um, and just realizing that I needed some music advice. So what I did was I went to wordplaytj.com where you, where there is music for the underdog. Oh. It's music for the underdog, babe. Really? Like not for this. It's for, it's for the underdog. We're rooting for you over at wordplaytj.com, who is also a sponsor of this podcast. So um, is it just music or advice? Or? Oh, it's, it's music advice. There's a yeah. uh, <laughs> gray area anime. Oh, yeah. You can also find us on that website. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is wordplaytj.com. Hmm. I really do think that you guys are going to enjoy it. There's also music. (gasps) Music videos. Ooh. Oh, man. It's amazing. Listen, when I tell you that that guy works hard. He does. Oh, man. Very focused young man. Huge, huge supporter of uh, Grey Area Anime, and that would be wordplaytj.com, represented by On The Map Music Group. Oh, yeah. Go check it out. Link is in the bio. Or if you're already on the page, I mean, you're already on here if you're looking for us. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's good stuff. Like, I, mm, okay, what were you going to say? You had one. Uh, Yes, I have one more. So I'd want to do studio tours if possible. My, I've always wanted to, to tour a film studio, um, any film studio or all the as many film studios as I can just because I'm interested in finding out how they work what they look like what their um, environments are Um, and so if if Studio Ghibli was still doing like tours or something like that I would love to go there um, to any of their like theme parks uh, or any like museums anything like that like that just catalogs the culture, the, mm-hmm. you know, around filmmaking or, or anime and st- like the process of creating. Mm-hmm. I would love to see even museums and art. Like I would really just love to engage with that part of the culture as well. I think my last thing would be I want to do the fun, weird stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so, concerned about where that's going. Meaning I <laughs> want to do the Mario Kart dressed as the Mario Kart character. Dude, I totally want to do that. I think that would be really, really fun. That would be so fun. Um, I'd climb. I don't like hiking, but I would go up one of the mountains. I'd go with you. I mean, I like hiking. Uh, given that there's a hot spring or something in the area around yeah. the top. Um, I want to get salt. <laughs> yes. I want uh-huh. to bring the salt home. Yeah. I want to use the salt. I want to get like special soy sauces. I want to get. Um, I want to go chef stuff. Oh, so much chef stuff. <laughs> like, if I get one of them chef knives, whoo-hoo! Yeah, it's see, you want to do chef stuff, I want to do movie stuff. That works. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I do want to do the Studio Ghibli tours and the tours, like, go see the big Gundam that's there. Oh, and, yes, I would love that. Um, you know, go to, like, some of their cool places, uh, like Shibuya. Mm-hmm. Um, and wherever else we could go, um, just to kind of enjoy Mm-hmm. Um, now, I'd like to spend a good amount of time there. Yeah, like I'm say, not we'd have trying to, be there to go for like, a for week like or two weeks or something. So I'd like to try a month. A month? I would a love month. that actually. That, that would be would cool be, to really immerse. because then you know, like the first week, like I can spend that resting, eating, and adjusting to the time. Yes. The next week weird. we can mm-hmm. travel a little bit. You know, third week is probably the spending week. Yes. And then fourth <laughs> week is like the winding down kind of. You know, whatever. That would be cool. But that's I, the that whole kind of thing. Like, that's that's something that I think would be cool. Um, as cool as I think it would be to hear what all of you guys would do mm-hmm. if you went over to Japan. And, like, experiences that you've, you've had in your area with the culture. Maybe you have a lot more culture around you, um, Japanese culture around you, than we do. Um, share those places with us. I mean, like, sometimes you can't get over to Japan. You know, right now it might be a little trying to try and do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's share those experiences with one another. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about um, ramen places you like. Let's talk about, are you a Loot Crate guy? Um, do you have, are you a Shonen Jump guy? Please sponsor a Shonen Jump. Um, what do you do? Are you a Crunchyroll person? Are you, have you only seen anime on Netflix? Like, how do you get your culture fixed? 
um, near you. And uh, do your thing. If you would like to get in touch with us, you can hit us up on Twitter at Great Area Anime One. You can get at us on Instagram and Facebook at Great Area Anime. And if you'd like to send us any questions, comments, or suggestions for things we should watch or read or review, get at us at Great Area Anime at Gmail dot com. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one. A one and a two and a peace.